produced by Overdose. Yes! <laughs> go outside. Clips is on me. Go outside. Riches on me. Go outside. Bitches on me. Go outside. Snitches on me. What's up? I'm your host, Sierra Mora, and we're here in downtown Oakland at the Dope Era Clothing Store. Shout out to Mr. Fab for letting us do the interview Shout here. Out. And I'm here with Maybeck. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and where you're from? My name is Maybeck. I'm from East Oakland, California, 98th and D Street, the Alphabets, infamous Alphabets, Elmhurst District. You know what it is. <laughs> okay. And can you tell us a little bit about how you started out with doing rap? Uh, I started out with Live Wire Records. I mean, I've been rapping since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? When I was my oldest sister, the one who got me rapping. But I, I, when I started taking it serious, I started out with Live Wire Records. Jay Stalin, that's my cousin. You know what I'm saying? He put me on and uh, got me pretty far in this shit. Okay, and I know you did songs with Jay Stalin, Filthy Rich, and Mozzie. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, you know, I fuck with Filthy. He, 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 he Live Wire, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was a relationship there. You know, now he doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. When I first got out of jail and out of prison in 2015, uh, Mozzie was hot doing his thing. So, you know, I uh, got on his mixtape. You know what I'm saying? We did a song together. But uh, ever since then, you know, I've been pushing, doing my own thing. They've been pushing, doing their own thing. Salute to them guys. Only one discrepancy I had with the... Uh, you know, the Mozzie thing is E Mozzie saying fuck the bay and all of that, but other than that, you know, salute. Yes, yes. And can you tell us um, where you're at now? What label are you with? You know, it's Live Wild Records for Life, but I'm doing my own thing. I'm the CEO of Alphabet Mafia Records. My nigga 9 a Twine, he the COO. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we all doing our thug thing, you feel me? And we're going to keep it pushing. Okay, and can you tell us about some of your projects that you have out right now and some of your upcoming projects? Uh, the first project I ever dropped it was in 2009, was with Jay Stalin, called The Real World East to West Oakland, and that was the second series, that was the second CD of a series that he's dropped called The Real World. Oh. So that was like Real World Part 2, and it was called Real World East to West Oakland. Mm -hmm. Then I had a hiatus, going to prison, going to jail, you know what I'm saying? And um, when I got out in 2015, me and Ronald Mack dropped a CD called The Sit Down. And then the next year, 2016, I dropped a solo project, an EP called Maybach of Valley, the EP. And um, early 2017, I dropped another project called um, La Cosa Nostra. And then I got a project right now called La Stessa Casa, mm -hmm. coming out in a couple more months, scheduled to drop in a couple more months. And um, it's a follow-up to La Cosa Nostra. La Cosa Nostra, means this thing of ours, La Stessa Casa, means the same thing. So, you okay. know, we pushing. Creative, okay. Are you a little bilingual? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, ain't, I, I don't know no different languages or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I just respect the mafia and, 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 and some of the codes that they live by. Okay, so how would you say your style of rap is different from other rappers? I would say my style of rap is different from other rappers because I spit from the gut and I spit from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything that I spit, 90, 90, 95, damn near 100% of the time, everything I spit is real. You know what I'm saying? I done seen it, I done lived it, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or I, done, I done been through it or seen somebody else go through it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of people be spitting fabricated shit, you know, and I try to keep it all the way 100 as possible. Okay, and do you have any artists that you would like to work with in the future? Uh, a bunch of artists that I would like to work with in the future. I would like to work with some artists that I already worked with before. And, um, man, should I see T Grizzly over there in T Detroit doing this thing? I would like to work with him. You know what I'm saying? I see Joe Moses down there in L.A. doing this thing. I would like to do something with him. Of course, Kendrick Lamar. Of course, J-Rock over there in the TDE camp. You know what I'm saying? Out there in Atlanta. I would like to work with some cats out there in Atlanta. Alley Boy, uh, Trouble, uh, 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 of course, Future. I even work with Young Thug, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, out there in Texas, Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the Sauce Twins, I like to work with them. And the, the, it's a boy coming up too called Yellow Beezy. I seen this grind, I respect him, man. I wouldn't mind working with him too. 
and in New York, man. Some New York artists that I like too, man. So you know, just just, just shit. I want to work with the whole hip hop game, really. Yeah, yeah. Now, being from the Bay, how do you think the Bay Area rap scene is different from the hip hop industry as a whole? The Bay Area rap scene is different because, like, we trendsetters. And this ain't no disrespect to no other coast, you know what I'm saying, or nobody else, you know what I'm saying? But the Bay Area, we trendsetters. And, 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 you know, a lot of times in rap, a trend to come up, you feel me, and everybody will follow it. You know what I'm saying? We be the ones that stand back a little bit, watch it, and then we make our own trend. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just for example, the colorful, the colorful dress that people be wearing, Bay niggas started that. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the going dumb, the going high feet, the hanging out the window. When you see them hanging out the windows on the video doing all that, Bay people started that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Fab. You know what I'm saying? Because he had a lot to do with that high movement and pushing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we were talking to 9A Twan earlier, and he was saying, um, like, for example, um, Little Beat. A lot of people copied his swag. He started the whole sure. tight leg movement, pretty boy swag movement. How do you feel about that? Would you agree with that? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, Lil Wayne had a lot to do with it too, but Lil B, he, 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 he was doing his thing. And especially like that chanting, how you hear people chanting on their raps now, you know what I'm saying? Lil B, he had a lot to do with that for real. You know what I'm saying? Because he was the first person that I heard doing that chanting. And I'm going to keep it 100. Lil B had a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? But Lil Wayne, the tight jeans and everything else, Lil Wayne had a lot to do with that too, though. You know what I'm saying? So I say both of them played a big part in the new age and the new era of hip-hop. Okay. Now, before we go, if anyone wanted to get in contact with you, how can they do that? Um, on Instagram, you can hit me at Maybachavelli, M-A-Y-B-A-C-K-A-V-E-L-I. That's on Instagram. On Facebook, you can hit me at Maybach98, M-A-Y-B-A-C-K, space, N-I-N-E, space, E-I-G-H-T. And um, on Twitter, you can hit me at Maybach98. Oh, yeah. Also, on YouTube, my YouTube channel is Maybach98, M-A-Y-B-A-C-K, the number nine and the number eight. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. For oh, real. thank you. And if anyone wants to follow little old me, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at the real Sierra Mora. That's the real spelled out regularly, and then S I E R R A M O R A. And once again, we're here in downtown Oakland at the Dope Era Clothing Store. Shout out to Mr. Fab once again. Shout out. <laughs>